Here is yet another rotational and translational equilibrium problem. What we have is a ladder that is leaning against the wall and we're going to assume that there is no friction from the wall on the ladder but there is friction from the floor and we are interested in calculating all forces that are acting on the ladder. As usual we will start by drawing the free body diagram of the ladder. So here is my ladder and I'm going to free my ladder so I'm cutting it from the environment so I will have something on the wall here and something on the floor here. So from the wall we get a normal force from the wall uh, that should go straight away from the surface so to the left. Let's draw this a bit better, so we have a force from the wall. Then from the floor we have a vertical force, which is actually just a normal force. So I'm going to call it vertical force. And then I have a friction that will keep my ladder from sliding away. I'm calling this one the horizontal force. Then we're still on the planet Earth, so I have gravity coming directly in the middle. So this is my free body diagram. The coordinate system was already given. So the coordinate system is x and y as such. Uh, for the pivot point, my unknowns here are my force from the wall, my vertical and my horizontal force. So the pivot point I can actually choose whatever point I want but if I put it where I have the most unknowns I hopefully get the most easiest equation. So I'm gonna choose my pivot down here. If you think about it, if the wall would not be here uh, my ladder would actually rotate and fall around this point. Most likely I will need to calculate torques, so let's look at my angles. So if this one here is 60 degrees, that means this one here must be 30 degrees. And that means this one here is also 60 degrees. As I'm going to be needing much more space, I'm making my free body diagram a bit smaller. I'll just leave it up here. Now I'm going to start with my set equation. So in set direction set direction my sum of all torque will be zero. Now which of the forces around my or which of the forces can create some torque around the pivot point? I have only two gravity and the force from the wall. Uh, the vertical and horizontal forces cannot cause any torque because they are acting on the pivot point directly. So I have the torque from the wall and I have the torque from gravity. Must be zero. Then once more if I have something that turns it counterclockwise I'm gonna take it as plus and clockwise as minus. So my force from the wall is pushing it counterclockwise, so plus the torque from the wall. And my gravity is going clockwise, so torque from gravity is negative. Zero, so I have the torque from the wall must be equal to the torque from the gravity. And the torque from the wall will be my force from the wall times my length of the ladder, so times 2 meters, times sine of the angle, so times sine of 60, is equal to my mass, so 5 kilograms, times 10 meters per second square gravity, times uh, the lever, so the mass, the center of mass in a uniform ladder should be 1 meter from my pivot, and the angle 
uh, which I have up here, uh, should be 30 degrees. So if I'm putting this here, I have time sign of 30. Now I can solve this for my normal force, uh, sorry, my force from the wall, which is a normal force, which should be equal to around 14.4 Newtons. I'm going to try to make this smaller so I get more space. Because next I'm going to do my y equation. In y direction, I have the sum of all forces in y must be zero. What are my forces in Y? My forces in Y are my vertical force and my gravitational force. And that's it. So I have plus my vertical force uh, minus mg is zero. Therefore, my vertical force is mg which is equal to 5 times 10 is 50 newtons. This one also was a final answer. Uh, so all that's left is my x equation. Sum of all forces in x must be equal to 0. In X, I have my horizontal force, which is actually friction force. I have the force from the wall and nothing else. My horizontal force goes to the right, so plus. My wall force is negative, so force from the wall negative is zero. Therefore, my horizontal force is equal to the force from the wall which is 14.4 newton and that's it